Hi, welcome to another session of Circuits and Networks. In today's class, we are going to see transient analysis in that source-free RL circuit. In our previous classes, we have seen source-free RC circuit. We have also solved uh, different numericals for RC circuit. And today, we are going to see the basics of source-free RL circuit as well as a problem based on that concept. So source-free RL circuit, suppose you have a series source-free RL circuit and assume that the inductor is already charged. After that, we are going to apply the mesh analysis and we will derive the equation uh, for homogeneous uh, equation and after that we are going to find out the solution for the homogeneous equation. So inductor is charged with initial current as I0. And we are going to assume that the uh, current which was stored at uh, inductor, that current is to be I0 and that current is nothing but IL of 0 or IL at T equal to 0. So this is the first assumption, assuming the current direction to flow in this direction. And energy stored in the inductor V is given by E of 0 is equal to half L I0 square. So these are the basics what we have to deduce from a charged inductor and it is connected to a resistor. So these things will easily get determined by looking into the network. By applying KVL to the loop, we are going to get LDI by DT plus RI equal to 0 and DI by DT plus RI by L equal to 0. Now it becomes a homogeneous equation. Equation 4 is a first order differential equation and its solution can be obtained by taking di by i which is equal to minus r by l dt and integrating equation 5 on both sides with initial value as 0 and final value as i of t. Then you are going to get the value of integration of di by i is nothing but i of t. In fact, the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is i of t. That's why I have replace the value of upper and lower limit to this integrated point and then we can get ln i of t minus ln i0 equal to minus rt by l. I hope you understood this equation. Just apply the integrations with lower limit and upper limit. Lower limit as 0 and upper limit as i of t. You are going to get this particular equation as ln i of t by i0 is equal to minus rt by l. This is ln a minus ln b, the formula is ln of a by b. Fine, the equation for i of t will be obtained as i0 e to the power of minus rt by l. Now you can see the inductor equation which got completely charged and it is going to decay uh, through resistor and the time constant is given by tau is equal to l by r. So if at all you plot the graph, you are going to get the graph in this exponential decaying component level, where this is i0 e to the power of minus t by tau, tau is given by equation 8 and for a particular value of tau, you are going to get the value for the current which is drooping in nature as 0.368 i0, just substitute the value, you are going to get this value and after that the resistance will develop a voltage which is given by i of t into r or I can replace it with r i naught e to the power of minus t by tau framing as equation 9 and therefore the power in the dissipating circuit will be given by r i naught square e to the power of minus 2t by tau. Just you multiply equation 7 and equation 9 you are going to get the equation 10. Now Energy absorbed by the resistor up to time t is given by E of t is equal to 0 to t P of t. Substitute the value of P of t from equation 10 and applying the proper integration, I am going to get the value of uh, E of t which will be equivalent to 1 by 2 L I naught square of 1 minus e to the power of minus 2t by tau. And if at all, you analyze that as t tends to infinity, then equation 11 can be framed as equation 12 like this. 
e of infinity is equal to 1 by 2 half l i naught square. In fact, this is the same energy stored by the inductor initially, which was given by half l i naught square. So, this is the analysis of a source free RL circuit by assuming that inductor is already charged and it is going to dissipate its energy through resistor. Now, from figure 1, we need to find out I of T, which is nothing but flowing in 4 Henry's. So, you can see the switch was closed initially and at T equal to 0, it got opened. So, how to analyze the circuit? So, you need to keep in the mind that switch was closed for long duration and it is open at T equal to 0 second. Fine. Therefore, before switching action inductor is charged. Why? Because of this closeness of the switch. The 120 volts is delivering its energy to the passive elements which are connected. Now, its steady state condition is reached and inductor acts as short circuit as shown in figure 1a. Okay, the switch was closed for long duration and inductor got short circuited. And this inductor is shorting even 12 ohms. So, in fact, this is what we are going to left over with. When the switch was closed, this is how the circuit looks like. If at all I want to calculate the total current, that would be 6 parallel with 3 and the combination will be in series with 8 and you can get the value of current by dividing voltage by this equivalent resistance. So, the equivalent resistance you can see 6 is parallel with 3 plus 8 which will give you the value as 2 plus 8 which is equal to 10 ohms. So, our equivalent for this value is 10 and as I told you I total of the current will be equivalent to 120 by 10 which is equal to 12 amperes which is flowing in figure 1b as shown over here or you can also assume the same current which would be flowing in figure 1a in this direction. So, this was the concept for the switch which was closed for long duration of time. Fine. And what would be the immediate current which would be flowing across the shorted inductor? It would be the current which is flowing in 3 ohms that is nothing but I of 0 minus the total current is 12 amperes. Uh, for 3 opposite is 6 divided by 6 plus 3 that is nothing but the parallel combinations. So, this sum up is over the denominator like this which will give you the value as 8 amperes. So, when the inductor was shorted and the switch was closed for long duration of time, the initial inductor current is 8 amperes. So, the same current does not change immediately. So, I can take I of 0 minus or I of 0 plus which is equal to I naught which is 8 amperes and you need to keep in the mind that tau that is the time constant is given by L by R and the value of L is 4, R is 10. Therefore, tau value is 0.4 second. Finally, I of t can be obtained by the charged current which is through inductor multiplied with e to the power of minus t by tau. So, 8 into e to the power of minus t by tau is 0.4 second. In fact, this answer leads to 8 e to the power of minus 2.5 t amperes. So, these are the very important concept and it is a good problem where you can deduce so much information. In the second problem which is shown in figure 2, uh, we need to find out I of t which is flowing through 3 Henry's. Okay, what we have to do? First, we know that the switch was closed for long duration of time, right? The switch was closed for long duration of time. So, there are things which becomes uh, shorted, that is the inductor. So, in its steady state condition is reached and it has acts as short circuit and it is shown in figure 2a like this. So, inductor is shorted like this, right? And current would have flown through the short circuit in this fashion. In fact, this is short and this is also short and this is also short. 12 ohms is shorted by this entire thing. So, I of 0 minus which will be flowing through short circuit wire would be the current which is flowing through 4 ohms. This is how it looks like because this entire short wire is shorting the 12 ohms. I hope you understood how you have reduced figure 2a from top to bottom. Fine. Now, clearly it shows that 12 amperes is in parallel with 4 and 6. So, I of 0 can be obtained which is nothing but the value of current in 4 ohms. So, the total current is 12 per 4 opposite is 6 and divided by the sum of these two becomes 7.2 amperes. Let me take this equation as 1. So, this is the charged current through the inductor when the switch was closed for long duration of time. 
Now, actually, what happened at t equal to zero, the switch is open. When the switch is open, 12 amperes is disconnected, but inductor is already charged to some current value that is nothing but 7.2 amperes. Now, if at all I want to calculate the R equivalent for time constant, the 4 and 6 will become in series and that combination will be in parallel with 12. In fact, figure 2b shows that R equivalent is nothing but the value of the resistance which is nothing but having the combination of 12 in parallel with 10. Fine. So, R equivalent will be equal to 60 by 11 ohms or it can be taken as 5.45 ohms. Now, tau equal to L by R, just substitute the value of L is 3 and R value as 5.45. So, the value of tau will be 0 0.55 second. Finally, I of t will be equal to I naught e to the power of minus t by tau. Just replace the values of equation 2, 3 in a proper way. I am going to get the value of I of t as 7.2 e to the power of minus t by 0 0.55 or it can be written as 7.2 e to the power of minus 1.81 t. So, this is how we solve the problems related to source free RL circuit by assuming inductor to be charged and it is going to display, uh, dissipate its energy through the elements which is connected to them. So, I, I hope you like this class. Please share among your friends, subscribe to this channel and please press the bell icon for further notifications. Thank you.